I'm telling you guys, I like the snow, but I hate freezing. It is so cold out right now. I think it's five degrees, six degrees out right now. It is bitter, bitter, bitter cold. Got something to show you right now. So we did get the first shin back and I apologize for all the salt. It was clean about three hours ago. And then I drove it through the roads when it was snowing and they were plowing and spreading salt and all kinds of crap, which it's gonna get washed off. Trust me, I'm gonna take it out and spray it all down again tonight. It's just hard to keep these things clean this time of year. But if you guys notice anything different, the truck has been leveled out and it looks really, really good. You can see how it sits. It's nice and level. I'll show you the kit a little closer up here. And all it is, is a front leveling kit. And it's a front rough country leaf pack leveling kit. You know, in these trucks, that's what they have in the front end for suspension. It looks really good, sits nice and level. Tires don't rub anymore. Clears everything perfectly fine. We did also just schedule this thing in for tent, so that should be getting done as well in the next day or two. And then the truck's shipping on February 15th. And let me just do a quick disclaimer. Ordinarily, these trucks do not ship a month after the winners find out they win. Normally, it's within like a week or two after they find out they win, then the truck's usually shipped out for the trucks that are shipping. It either gets shipped or they are here to pick it up and drive it home. But this truck, it was five weeks longer than it was supposed to be at the pump shop that was doing the pump tuning work, which is why it is just now shipping out. And this is why the lift kit just got done on the front and the tent's just getting done because we didn't have the truck for so long. Much better, much better. And then we have the Jeep here. And the Jeep, we have a we have a couple exciting things we're gonna do with this thing. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do the front dually wheel, like the front normal looking dually wheel, you know, where it's kinda of like rounded out on the outside and put those in the front, space them out, put those in the front. Or do we put duallys on the front as well? Well, we got the first shin all washed off. Now the problem is we're fighting ice freezing onto the truck as you can see if you look real closely, but it's either a little bit of ice here and there or salt. And I figured I'd rather have the frame and cab all sprayed off. I'd rather have a little bit of water freeze on it than uh, salt caked all over it. So, gotta pick your poison. Did actually just stop by the tent shop and they were like, well, we're booked out about two weeks, but we'll do you a favor and do you a solid. If you can have the truck here by later tonight, we will squeeze it in in little windows of time that they have on lunch breaks and stuff over this next couple days so that it is done before the shipping day for this truck, which is February. 15th. February 15th is also the last day to enter to win our silver 24 valve Cummins plus $5,000 cash. That giveaway is ending in just a few days. So if you haven't done so yet, head on over to lmpgear.com, buy anything up the store, and you'll automatically enter to win that truck that you see plus $5,000 cash. And for those of you who have not seen this truck in a very long time, this is my dad's 1992 Power Ram 250 12 valve. This truck, I mean, it's a, it's a clean truck. It was a little bit, little bit rusty here and there. When I say a little bit rusty, I mean like a little bit of rust on the back fenders and a couple of little teeny tiny pinholes on the lower part of the rocker panel. That was all done and fixed. Put back to being darn near perfect again, like it was back in the day. It's a limited edition. I did the bed liner in it a long time ago. It's got the gooseneck. But what makes this truck extra special, it's five degrees, my camera does not want to work. 86, I'll just say it since it won't focus, 86,000 miles. And although this truck's currently not mine, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of it very shortly here. So what we actually came over here for though is to get another set of dually wheels for the Jeep. I don't know how many of you guys remember this or not, but the white 24 valve flatbed six speed manual truck it was an SLT Laramie. This was actually the set of dually wheels that came off of that truck. And we took that truck, we did a five inch lift, huge monstrous 35 inch Toyo MTs, negative 265 millimeter offset. And the thing was just wide. I mean, it was a freaking monster. However, we had these left behind and I never ended up selling them. I thought I said in a video I would sell them, but I just never did. And well, here we are. And uh, 
I'm glad I didn't because we're gonna use these on the Jeep. Well guys, I wish I had more for you right now. I just honestly don't. So I'm just gonna keep this video real short because there's no sense in filling it with a bunch of nonsense um, if I don't have much else to film. Again guys, if you wanna enter to win that silver 24 valve, the giveaway does end on February 15th, which is in less than a week. So if you wanna get in on that, just place an order at lmpgear.com. As soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. No, you do not need a PayPal account or an Amazon Pay account. You can check out through PayPal and just check out as a guest. once you go through the checkout stage you don't need any accounts or anything like that hopefully like the leveling kit on the blue dodge looks super sweet super happy with how it turned out hopefully Corey loves it just as much i think he's going to we'll catch you guys on the video wednesday coming out i think you guys are going to really like it stay tuned can't wait to see you in the next one peace